Hi, Bernard. Hi, Hi Carsten. So in this video, we are at step number seven, which is we will create an application group for this host pool and allow some users to it. Um, and, you know, by default, we don't need to create the application group um, because the host pool will automatically create a desktop um, application group automatically. So I didn't create that one. That was created in the previous video automatically as well. Um, but the step that we need to do is in order to allow access to the desktops, we need to do the assignments. As you could see here, we currently we don't have any assignments done for this application group. Mm -hmm. so I'll just hop into the assignments, hit the add button, and now I'm landing in the object browser or in the directory picker, if you will. And I could, you know, select individual users for seeing, for giving access to them, uh, to the desktops, or I think it's more practic practical to use a, uh, a whole group which contains the users, right? So that's mm -hmm. what I do. And to be and clear, these, is, uh, these users and groups are synced from the local active directory because we need we right. need to log into the the machines we will create we need a local ad and should be some match here no? yeah um, because remember in a later video or in a previous video we we dealt with uh, fs logics for the profile share therefore we gave uh, ntfs permissions and that would only work if you are using the same object right so um in, and we gave um, the object avd users the ntfs permissions to the share right mm -hmm. yeah that's uh, already this video uh, a short one but you know a necessary step so I, we see you in the next one.